So I've had some people ask how I use the custom layouts feature of Mixing Station and I'm pretty sure this is a pro only uh, feature but you should certainly download, uh, buy and download the pro version, it's great to support the developer. Um, so by default we have a the mixer on screen um, and the list of layers and this list of sends on faders but we can do something more interesting if we want so we go into setup layers layouts we need to add a mixer layout I'm not guessing though he's going to add some more features to that um, but at the moment you can only have the one layout and you see here there's the mixing surface so it's really really cramped and small the sends on uh, the uh, different layers buttons here and the sends on faders control here and we can move them around by dragging them when they have the green outline if we press the resize button they have a red outline and it's in resize mode here we can get our, our mixing surface up to a reasonable size um, if we press and hold or carefully tap uh, this menu appears we can edit or delete items and we can add new, new buttons so for example I prefer to have a set of buttons for the different bus sends that I want but only a certain set of bus, fen bus sends for sends on fader mode and in particular I like to have a button to switch it off which I shall label uh, front of house because it's a front of house mix and you can select a colour and then add another one sends on fader, you could have previous and next, I'm going to have one, two and three these names. I can also tap on an existing control to get the menu up and clone it. This is a bit easier than editing from scratch from each one. Here I have monitor sends one, two, three of the sense on faders. And I'm also going to add one for I'll put it down here for a reverb send. So this will switch us to sense on fader for plus thirteen, which is reverb send. And I'm gonna have that as blue. short and a long reverb now when I hit these for different monitor sends or reverb sends I've got send on faders mode so I might have those three in monitor one these in monitor two and then the front of house mix, I'd want everything in. And so on. Now, when I'm editing, changing the mix for one of the monitor sends, I may well want to solo that. Now, you can add a second action uh, to a button, so it switches two things at once. However, then you if you switch to a different sense on fader it doesn't deselect the solo on the one I want so I'm going to do it as a separate solo button so a solo for bus one I should make that yellow because it's right next to the button for that sense on fader I can 
just call it solo and make it smaller. Again, I'm going to clone that for my other buses. Now, for the effect sends, I could solo the bus send, but actually what I want to do in this case is to solo the output of the reverb unit, so I'm going to do that. So these solos are soloing the output of the effects, effects 1 and effects 2 in this case. And I may want to add, for these, not for the uh, monitor sends, but for the reverb sends, I want to add a mute. So that would be a well, we fixed channel. Now I could select the effects one, so that's the reverb output. I prefer to mute the send. Um, if somebody is singing and there's a tail of reverb, and I think they're about to. Uh, say some spoken words, I want to mute the send so I don't get their spoken words having reverb but leave any reverb tail on the end of the singing. Also means if you hit it, if you miss it and change it later then it's a bit less conspicuous to mute the send rather than return of the reverb. So there I've got mutes for my two solos. Um, now actually what you'll find is they are inverse the solos are the for the returns but the mutes are the inverse so what we need to do is both of these edit and hit the invert button here. Now, what I can also do is add some knobs. So maybe I want, and the knobs unfortunately are invisible, uh, but maybe I want to be able to adjust the compressor's threshold channel uh, threshold for a given channel that down. so now I'm affecting the uh, threshold for a given channel um, unfortunately it's not at all clear which channel I'm affecting, it's probably channel 1. And what I can do is in Setup App, on Channel Strip, when I touch a fader, I can say that selects it, and it's also useful to switch on Highlight Channel. So now I'm affecting the threshold, and when I just touch a fader, I can see the threshold of different channels. I may also want to add a button to switch the dynamics on and off. So there's this current channel, dynamics on. Now with the, both of these, uh, the way I have my mixer set up, the dynamics are don't affect the monitor sends so it's a little bit misleading that it's here when I have monitor send on so I can edit those, both of those and say they're only visible when I'm not doing sends on faders and because I've got sends on faders now that means they'll disappear but then they'll appear again and I've got not got sense on faders, faders mode on.
so that's a knob of a current channel. You could have it um, instead as a channel offset from the current layer. So we could say current layer offset zero and say pan would give us the pan controls for the first channel of this layer. I'll put it there. Make this a bit smaller. And then I could clone that and do the same for the next channel. Offset one. And so on. So now what I have is I have pan controls above each channel. Of course they're not lined up properly, you'd have to adjust the uh, number of channels per layer so they line up a bit better. I'm going to get rid of those. You can just tap on something and delete. One feature we use a lot at our church is we use the USB to record the sermon. So we have, we want buttons, transport buttons to control it. So I have a stop. And record. Red. and I can even have a button to take me to that view. So open view, so this could open stuff for the current channel, uh, go to scribble strip, an individual effects rack, or in our case the USB player. I'll give it a more useful name. I'm not connected to an X32 at the moment, so this isn't going to get, show the USB details. The other thing I can do, and I may need to just set this up to be a delay unit first, is I might want to have a tap delay. And I can have a tap delay button here. This will be effect stereo delay time. And when you do that, that you get you tap it to get a tap delay. So if you're you can tap the rhythm of your song, so you get the delay coming in on the beat or the quarter beat or whatever you want. I notice it shows the display time as well. This is the value here. So where you have value in square brackets like that. It gives you the value. Another useful use of that, again with the mixer, we can add a label to give us the USB player label title of the track or the elapsed time or the remaining time. Um, obviously remaining time isn't really used for the recording and it's quite useful because just in case there's a problem with your USB memory stick or you run out of space it's reassuring to see the elapsed time going up you know it's recording if, it, if that's going on. So we've gone through button, knob, label. We can add a channel strip as well. And when we tap on the channel strip, we can then select a channel. And when you're using the layers, it's 
you can get a little bit lost and end up not knowing where your master fader is. Some people like to have the master fader always available, so we can stick that in. We can make it bigger as well. And the layer list we've already got, the send and fader list. Um, it's this widget with these uh, four buttons or five once you select a send on fader. Maybe I want to expose the fine control and really only the fine control. What I can do is switch it to the background and then it hides everything other than the fine control. Well, nearly you can just about see the mute control as well. But the fine control is still there. Uh, you can only really have one mixer, which kind of makes sense. And so there, I think that's all the features I wanted to show of the custom layout feature of Mixing Station. Thank you very much.